Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys, and I'm actually on a little toy hunt today. Um, I am at Toy Department. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Uh, and I'm actually looking for something very specific. Uh, last week, they posted that they had a ton of Art of Spawn McFarlane figures that came in, uh, and I'm hoping they still have some of them left because they had them at fantastic prices. Um, so I am really hoping that I'm able to pick up quite a few of those if they still have them. Um, and I'm also really itching to get some Kenner vintage Batman stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been in the store, so I figured come over here during my lunch break, see what they had. So let's go on inside. All right, so we're in the store now, um, and they still have a ton of these spawn figures left. Um, so kind of just to give you guys an overview, so they have a lot of the art of spawn, vandalizer, um, a couple Angelas, salmon twitch back there, uh, a bunch of um, Meridian spawn. I really like that uh, classic cover of uh, issue 131 right there, but I think I'm actually gonna pass on that one. Um, they have a really cool Redeemer, uh, Grape Digger, another Dark, Ang or Dark Ages, uh, Valkyrie, Dark Raider, um, I believe that's a Cyber Spawn, uh, Inner Link Spawn, yeah, like one of the uh, more Cyborg Spawns back there. Um, really like this Curse of Spawn, uh, the Bible art, uh, I think that looks amazing. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to pass on him because I've already grabbed a freaking ton of these things. A um, couple Redeemers back there. We have uh, another uh, Demina. Another Salmon Twitch. Curse of Spawn. Right back there. So, I mean, if you're looking for Spawn, this is definitely the place to uh, come right now. It's more Dark Ages. Another Curse of Spawn. Um, once again, I really like this Raven Spawn uh, from the Reborn series, but I think I'm going to have to pass on him. Got a nice uh, Halloween clown right there. Then another uh, classic comic cover back there. Hellspawn. And then some of the mutations. Um, we have another uh, Tiffany from the cover series. And she spawned. Just, uh, yeah, a whole lot of uh, spawn back here. And then I do have the commando spawn. Zoom in or not, there we go. But the uh, commando spawn. Uh, back there, but yeah, so still have quite a bit. Um, so I think everything I'm gonna pick up is going to be um, this Hell Spawn 2, the classic Christmas cover um, spawn, the issue 8 spawn cover, and then this Hell Spawn. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna pick up um, this art of issue 7. Then we also have um, issue 85. I picked that one up. Have the Redeemer, uh, Ang Wings of Redemption spawn. I'll pick him up. And then the classic cover of, I think this was issue 88. So I absolutely love the look of that one. Um, so I think that's everything I'm going to pick up from Spawn, but I'll show you what else is around the store here in a second. All right, so just showing you guys the rest of the store. They're pretty loaded. Mezco's all throughout here, as well as Hot Toys. Right up there. Got quite a bit Mythic Legions. I know nothing about Black Series, um, but I'll kind of just give you guys a real quick shot of everything that they have here. Then they also have quite a bit of the carded vintage collection down here. And then some of the three and three quarter. Um, like I said, I really don't know a whole lot about the Star Wars Black Series. Um, so, yeah, if there's anything here that's rare, cool. I'm sorry if I'm missing it. Coming over to the NECA Horror section, we have some Living Dead dolls. I've um, got the Aliens Power Loader. Predator, got a uh, Pennywise from NECA, some Blade Runner figures, some Mars Attacks and Terminator sets, um, do have some of the uh, Power Rangers from Bandai, Predator, uh, Tim Curry it, a couple of the different Pennywises right there, Freddy vs. Jason, Ultimate Jason, that looks really freaking cool, especially like that uh, flaming blade right there, the little fire effect, and the really bloody mask. I think that looks really, really cool. Do you have an alternate Freddy from Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street? I almost said Nightmare for Christmas. That's definitely not correct. Uh, so, really cool looking there. 
Um, got some Godzilla, have the uh, NES Batman, have a couple of the Preacher, Cassidy, and Jesse um, mecha figures. Some Evil Dead, uh, looks like that is um, the Demon. Demon Spawn. So I got that. Some T2, got some Ghostbusters figures, Gremlins. This looks like it's a GameStop exclusive. Oh, that looks really cool. So you get the uh, popcorn. Uh, it even comes with like a, is it like a little video game, like a little Atari video game. That's awesome. Uh, the Gremlins video game. Some Shrek. Oh man. Totally could get me with all these Borderlands figures. I'm obsessed with this game. Um, looks like they have several Handsome Jacks, uh, Zero, and a Tiny Tina. Um, this they open on the uh, card there, so we do have some McFarlane um, Predator figures. So you have uh, McFarlane Predator, which I don't know if I've ever seen McFarlane Predator. So there's an exclusive, uh, the Invisible. Uh, then you have the AVP um, Predator right there, and there's several of those. Uh, they were saying that they got an entire Spawn collection uh, in, which is why they had everything for that I'm picking up. Um, it looks like they even have like some of the NECA Harry Potter figures over here, Ninja Turtles, Soul Reaver, Freddy, Resident Evil, Rambo, a lot of Predators are here, Godzilla, Bucky O'Hare, so yeah, just kind of a bunch of uh, random pop culture stuff over here in the NECA section. Do some of the uh, Street Fighter figures right here from uh, SOTA Toys. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen those before. They look pretty good, though. Uh, now, I need to have a uh, Duke Nukem action figure. No idea they made that from Duke Nukem 3D. No idea who that's by. But some really cool stuff. Uh, and then coming over to Legends, just give you a quick overhaul of what they have here on the front pegs. So, not a whole lot going on there. So they do have a couple of the new, or some of the Spider-Man wave from, uh, what was that, the uh, SPIDR wave, I think. Looks like they're uh, fairly well stocked here on the Toy Biz. Um, Legends as well. That blade looks awesome. I had no idea they even made a blade. And that actually looks really, really good, even a soft goods cape. Hmm. Looks like it comes with a blade 2 comic there in the back too. And as far as DC and Batman, has some of the multiverse figures um, from Justice League, Tactical Suit, Nightmare Batman. Um, coming down, they do have the uh, Batman from, I believe that's that the Ninja Batman, oh no, sorry, the Earth 2 Batman, uh, from DC Collectibles, some Batman Begins, uh, Mattel figures, 66 figures back there. Uh, let's see, they do have quite a bit of the Arkham series, so you got Harley, Nightwing, and then a Catwoman back there. Do have the Arkham Knight, Robin, Professor Pig, and Catwoman way back there in the back. Um, then they do have a Nightwing um, from the DC Universe movies. Nightwing from Arkham Knight, a couple of the two packs from um, Arkham City. So you have uh, Harley and the uh, Clown Thug. You have a uh, Penguin. And then uh, it looks like Huntress and Power Girl. Uh, back there. So quite a bit in the DC section. Um, but not really seeing a whole lot of actual Kenner figures other than they do have some of these animated. Um, actually, uh, quite a bit of it down here. I just didn't see it. Um, so quite a few of the. Adventures of Batman and Robin, which I really don't collect. I'm looking more for the uh, Returns figures, but these things do look pretty cool. We got a Batman with that side, cool. Uh, let's see, so Returns Catwoman, which I already have. Don't need another one of her. Uh, looks like these are all the Legends of Batman line there. So... Yeah, not really anything that I'm really looking for Batman-wise. And just give you a quick kind of rundown overview of their display cases right now. Just so you can kind of see everything that they have. Looks like they're really stocked up on uh, Build-A-Figures right now. 
all throughout there. Um, and same goes with the uh, Power Rangers uh, SHV yards down here. And just a quick shot of the NECA quarter scale figures up there. So it actually looks like there's quite a few hot toys all throughout the uh, aisles over here. All right, so I am back home from the toy department and I got a massive spawn haul. Uh, I am super excited to show you all these figures. Uh, it was a lot of fun going to the toy department. It's actually been quite some time. Uh, a couple of months I've actually been in the store. Um, so really cool to see some of the new stuff that they have. And that spawn collection was amazing. Uh, and the actual owner was telling me that I guess they bought a ton more. They just haven't had time to price it yet. Um, so I'm going to definitely keep an eye out on their Facebook and hopefully they're going to post some pictures once they actually start to price the other things. Um, but the haul I got, it's amazing. And I can't wait to show it to you. So we're going to do that right now. All right, and here's just a really quick kind of little, I don't know, pass through of all the figures I did pick up from the toy department. Um, and if you're new to my channel, as you can tell, uh, I am an out-of-box collector. So I open up everything that I buy. Uh, I don't buy this to resell or anything like that. Um, and honestly, I think these figures look so much better out of box and displayed uh, with all the detail that they have. Um, so I definitely opened them up and freed them from their clamshells. Uh, but the first one we're gonna take a look at is right here. This is one of the artist spawns. This was the cover to issue number eight. Uh, and this thing looks amazing. I love the detail with spawn hunched over right there. Got the nice chains uh, and everything. And the thing I love about these artist spawn is these aren't sculpted chains. Those are actually like metallic chains that you can pose around. Um, I just think it just gives like a whole other dimension to the figure. Um, just the way the cape is kind of like around his neck right there. Uh, and the way it just kind of flows underneath him. This is an awesome figure. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is actually going to be uh, the issue number 85 art. Um, so you take a look here, you got the unmasked spawn, which that sculpt looks amazing with all that detail where with Al Simmons burnt flesh, got that really nice green tone there in the eyes, the cape looks amazing. Once again, you get the the actual metal chains and the cape just kind of wraps around them and gets some nice like weathering effect and everything right there. Um, but that one's really cool. Uh, this next one is one of my favorites. Uh, so this is the hell spawn. Uh, I think this was the second figure that they did of Hellspawn, um, but I think it was the cover of issue number two, if I remember correctly. Uh, and this thing looks amazing. I love the coloring on this. The cape, if you can kind of see, just is so cool how they did it, um, how massive it is, and just what presence it has. And this one did come with like a little base, so it does stand pretty well. Uh, but this one did honestly remind me uh, how fragile McFarlane figures are, because as I was taking it out of the box, the gun actually snapped. So I'm going to have to glue that back. Um, honestly, it doesn't look too bad just him holding it just like that, but um, I definitely want to try to glue that back. Uh, but the gun, the detailing, and everything looks really, really cool. Detailing on the figure, such like a stylistic kind of you have such like a skinny, scrawny spawn, uh, then you have like these massive gauntlets and massive hands. I don't know, it's just kind of stylistic for uh, normal spawn figures. Uh, then come over here, we have the winged redeemer uh, spawn, and this one is probably the one I was most excited to get. Uh, I have been looking at this one at several toy shows we've went to. Um, it's always like 30 or 40 bucks, uh, if not higher. Uh, I think I got it for 15 and I just love this design. I think the sculpting on this is absolutely gorgeous with the uh, wings and feathers there, or the feathers on the wings. Um, and it just looks absolutely amazing. And coming to the next one, we have, I believe this was issue number seven. So it's the Artist Bond cover number seven. Um, and this thing, once again, it looks amazing. So you get the metallic chains um, there at the belt and going across the cape. Love the way that the face looks on this one. He does have two guns um, that he can put in his hands, which would look really, really cool. And I love the way the cape just kind of drapes over this figure. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. Um, very similar to the Color Top Spawn that they released, I don't know, two years ago, I think it was, that I have in my collection. Um, but I still really, really like this figure. Um, then coming up here, this is probably outside of the Winged uh, Redeemer Spawn. This is the other one that I was super excited to get. Um, I believe this was issue number 25, and this is the Christmas Spawn. So you can see here he's on a base with some really nice snow, got some nice blue highlights. He's got the Santa sack right there he's reaching into. He's wearing the Santa hat, 
And then my lighting, this one is really hunched over, so it's kind of hard to see. And my lighting right now isn't the best, um, but you get that nice kind of unmasked spawn sculpt right there um, and just some really cool detailing. And me being a massive, like, Christmas, uh, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Uh, winter is my favorite uh, season. So this is something I definitely wanted for the Christmas display. I'll definitely be putting this out uh, on my little mantle here in the man cave uh, that I put some garland and lights on. So, uh, yeah, definitely super excited to get the Santa spawn uh, figure. And then coming over here, we did pick up the Raven Hell spawn. Um, this one is another one of my favorites. I just love the design work because it's so unique. Reminds me almost of like something out of 300. But you just get that amazing sculpting all throughout the armor there. Um, I love that skull and those green eyes. I think that looks amazing. Cape looks really good. Uh, yeah, it just looks so incredibly cool. It is. It did come with a giant base, which I thought was interesting, considering like the uh, Winged Redeemer, and I think that was really the only one that didn't come with a base. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. This one comes with such a massive base, but it definitely looks really cool. And then the last one I picked up is the cover arts figure from uh, issue number 88. Uh, and this one is amazing. I love the way the cape just kind of drapes over Spawn. Uh, but this is honestly the one that I might have kept in the box uh, just because it took me forever to try to get him to be able to be posed with this giant cape with how heavy it is since it is like a very solid rubber um, to actually stand on his own. Because uh, I don't know why, but the base that it comes with doesn't like have any like foot pegs or anything like that to help him stand. Um, so you really have to get him to stand on his own. Uh, but I finally was able to do it. Uh, and I think he looks pretty daggone cool. And then the base is really cool. So right in time for Halloween, you get a bunch of like jack-o'-lanterns there kind of rotting. You get the black cat with its arched back and then a very nice like tree uh, diorama right there. Um, definitely think this is really cool looking spawn. All right, so that is all the spawn that I picked up at the toy department. Uh, like I said, this was an awesome haul. Super excited to really add to my spawn collection. There's a lot of pieces that I have been really looking for, um, but have always been super expensive. And to get them at the price I did, I mean, I think the most expensive one at all this was $25, which is insane uh, for some of these figures. Um, so huge shout out to the toy department for pricing them in the way they did because I was able to pick up every one that I wanted and uh, definitely going to go back once I get some more uh, priced up. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the toy section. But stay tuned because I'm actually doing something really cool tonight uh, with the wife. Uh, we're going to go out with some friends and I think that you guys might be interested in where we're going to go and what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to film it and do a little vlog. So that's going to be the second half of this video. So stay tuned. All right, so now for a little bonus footage. I know this has nothing to do with toys or anything like that. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we are actually at Kings Island. Uh, so this is the local amusement park here in Cincinnati. Uh, and tonight is actually their Halloween haunt. Um, so this is like a big like haunted house. We are actually here last night, um, but it was raining. Uh, they had a lot of the rides and a lot of the houses shut down. So we didn't really get to go through a whole lot. Uh, but since it's Halloween time, this is kind of horror toy, somewhat related, kind of pop culture related. Figure we kind of just take you a little tour of Kings Island, show you exactly everything they have to offer, um, show you through some of the scare zones. Uh, I don't think we can take, actually take uh, the camera on any of the houses or the rides, uh, but we're gonna go try to ride some rides, go uh, maybe in some houses, and just have a good time. So, just a good shot of Kings Island right there. Let's go in and see what they have. All right, so here we are walking into Kings Island. Got the Eiffel Tower. It's very packed. It, this is insanely packed. Um, last night, we basically walked on Diamondback, which is one of the bigger coasters. Everything was maybe like five, 10 minute wait last night. Right now we're looking at about two hours for everything. Um, hopefully this dies down a little bit. Sounds it like we're gonna go see may not, uh, but we're definitely gonna walk around the scare zones, hopefully ride Diamondback. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, show you everything once we get inside. Don't so one thing that they do have is they do have a uh, Don't Be Scared a necklace right there. So you can pay $13, and if you're walking through a scare zone, if you're wearing that necklace, uh, you actually won't be scared by the scare actors, which is kind of silly in my opinion. I know it's a way to make money for Kings Island, but uh, yeah. But uh, here we are. We already have these guys sliding around, scaring everybody. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, they do the sparks. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of waiting here at the center of the park. The wife actually wanted to see the uh, parade for the opening ceremonies. So we're gonna do that. And we'll show you that here in a second.
So, uh, as you can tell, they have started the smoke. Um, oh, I thought that was actually a scare actor, but I think it was just a random person running. <laughs> I don't think they are out yet. Uh, but yeah, as you can tell right through there, they've uh, definitely started the smoke. Um, this place gets really cool. I'm hoping, so last time we were here, like I said, the uh, it was raining quite a bit. So a lot of the scare actors and stuff like that weren't out yet. Uh, but now they are. Uh, hopefully tonight they will be. So uh, yeah, hope it's going to be a fun night. I don't know how well it's gonna show, but we just went through the opening ceremonies. Uh, that was really a lot of fun. Oh, look at that. He actually kind of got me on that. That was awesome. But uh, so now the scare actors are just kind of mingling through the crowd, uh, scaring whoever they can. Uh, this is honestly a ton of fun. So I really hope this video is showing out. It's really dark. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get some good footage, but uh, for one cool thing that they have here, some like headstones that have all the houses names. So like Killmart is the uh, zombie themed house. Um, they have a circus area and over there they have the, uh, what was it? I think Field of Screams is what the uh, field and then the Eiffel Tower is all done up in orange. It has some monster eyes over the top. Um, so yeah, so like everything is so far is themed really cool. There's the uh, KI Cemetery right there, which is a uh, scared zone we can go walk through kind of down in that area. So I think that's what we're going to go do that right now. What does this man do? I kind of wished he would have scared me. I kind of wish he would have too. So there's Diamondback. That's the uh, ride I most anticipated ride. That's my favorite roller coaster here um, until they build this new one, Orion. But uh, hopefully we'll get this at night because I've never been able to ride that at night. Oh, that's kind of cool. So over here, they have all the old rides that used to be here in gravestone form. So you have Firehawk, which uh, they actually just tore down and they're building a new ride over there. Uh, that's actually really clever. Now walking through here, we have a little graveyard scene with a hearse. Once again, you got Diamondback right over here. I'm really hoping uh, we'll get a shot of it using, they actually use water as brakes on the roller coaster, which is actually a pretty cool sight to see. So I'm hoping I can get over here and get a good shot of it the next uh, train that comes through. Yeah. All right, so right now we're gonna walk through uh, my favorite scare zone. Uh, this was Pumpkin Eater uh, that we saw last night. Uh, like I said, the scare actors really weren't out last night because of the rain. So we were gonna try to get, hopefully there's more out today. There's a sign for it. And I love the decoration of this one with all the jack-o'-lanterns hanging from the uh, ceiling there. And then you have pumpkins all throughout. Some really cool looking stuff. Uh, and then this was like, uh, they had a giant guy on stilts uh, last night. That was really cool. So hopefully he's out tonight. Um, we might come back a little bit later. I don't know if all the actors are out here yet or not.
All right, so we're walking like kind of through the uh, zombie scare area right now. So there's just uh, actors all throughout here trying to scare people, which is a lot of fun. But honestly, as you can kind of see, uh, it is so packed, it's probably pretty hard for these scare actors to actually do a whole lot. Um, we just got off Windseeker, which is like a giant swing that goes up like 300 some feet. That was fun. Um, swing that goes up like 315 feet. Uh, Eiffel Tower looks really cool tonight with the uh, beast eyes there at top. Um, right now the wait lines are pretty insane, uh, so I don't know if we're gonna get to go a whole lot more. Um, kind of over here, kind of show you. So outside of this game area, there is a uh, Kill Mart, which is a zombie themed house, and the line, I don't know if you'll see it or not, is pretty intense. Last night there was like, I don't know, maybe a hundred people in line. It took it took us like maybe ten minutes to get into it. Tonight, it's just absolutely packed. Um, so yeah, so crazy night. So if you're coming to Halloween Haunt at Kings Island, um, Saturday is probably not the day to come. We were just walking through the zombie area and uh, the swings have like five people in line. So we're gonna go on these real quick. All right, so now we're gonna go through our next scare zone, which is the Coney Mall, which is their uh, clown circus themed area where they actually have all the uh, boardwalk games here uh, throughout Kings Island. So now we're about ready to enter in another scare zone. This is the pirate theme shipwreck. We actually did not walk through this one last night, so this is our first time walking through this scare zone. sure that we've decided that uh, it's only going to be smaller rides this evening since they seem to don't have any weight so uh, the next ride up is the Viking ship <laughs> So I think we're about ready to call it an evening but not before we go up in the Eiffel Tower Kings Island and honestly even though this park was insanely packed uh, it was still an absolutely amazing time uh, really nice going on some of the smaller rides uh, the scare zones are really cool honestly I think the wife and I we both love the shipwrecked which is the pirate themed uh, scare zone the most that one was the most interactive uh, as far as the actual monsters and everything walking around these scare actors uh, they were like really trying to like pop out of people and really kind of just playing um, off the crowd which was really cool i think aesthetically pumpkin eater is still my favorite one i'm just a sucker for like giant monster type 
creatures, um, and that one really kind of, I don't know, like captured my imagination a lot. Um, but yeah, the Saturdays, it's just insanely packed, uh, really hard to get on rides, and especially the houses. Um, so I would recommend going on, like, on a Friday if you can. If you have to go on a Saturday, I highly, highly recommend uh, the, the, I think it's a fast pass during normal times, I think it's Fright Lane. Um, is what they're calling it for the haunted thing. Uh, that allows you to basically skip the lines and go straight to the front of the line for the houses and the rides. The rides, I believe the way it works is you can go on as go on the ride as many times as you want. The houses, I think you can only do it once on each house. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it's always an awesome event. Uh, a lot of fun to walk around. I uh, have a lot going on at Kings Island. So I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. hope you guys enjoyed the toy hunt footage. It was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, but that's going to do it for me this evening. Thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.